10 civil society groups have given the national government an ultimatum to reverse its lifting of the ban on GMOs, failure to which they will institute legal action. The group says it may consider mass action to compel the government to rescind its decision. The group cited lack of public participation and lack of capacity by the National Biosafety Authority to execute a regulatory role on GMOs processes. Setolale attended the media briefing. Cabinet's decision to lift the ban on GMOs four days ago continues to draw sharp criticism from non-state actors. Ten civil society groups, including Biodiversity and Biosafety Association of Kenya and the Consumer Grassroots Association, have expressed their dissatisfaction with the lifting of the decade-long ban on GMOs. The group listing five key concerns the government must address before normalizing GMOs in the country. That include lack of public participation, social economics effects, capacity of National Biosafety Authority to regulate GMOs, safety concerns and consumer preferences, and public deception and misinformation. <laughs> profit at the end of the day. The CBC was immediately taken through public participation now. And, and we are asking, if you take the CBC through public participation, why are you not taking this decision on GMOs through public participation? Are we, are we applying double standards? So we are saying that there is possibility for people to come together and uh, make sure that Kenyans have a voice. What is the rush for? Can you put all these things in place, the standards in place, so that a consumer has a right to choose by looking at the standards that are there to choose the right food that they would want to consume. If I'm a consumer, I will go to a supermarket and I, uh, I don't like buying a GMOs. How protected am I? You know, do we have, of course, the national biodiversity, national biosafety uh, authority has put some guidelines on uh, labeling of GMOs, but do we have a plan an elaborate plan of how that can be executed. The civic groups who stated that they will consider taking legal action if their concerns are not addressed by the government want the ban be immediately reinstated and an inclusive participatory process be instituted to look into long-term and sustainable solutions to issues affecting food security and agricultural productivity in the country, protection of indigenous seeds and extension of support to farmers to boost food production in the country in order to alleviate hunger and poverty, review biosafety policy regulatory and institutional framework assessments before introduction of GMO and any other related technologies transparency in economic partnership and technology transfer agreements and rolling out of public awareness campaigns to inform the public about the pros and cons associated with GM foods since the GMO ban was lifted, the National Biosafety Authority has on numerous occasions reiterated that it has the capacity to sustain a full GMO import and export program. Seth Olale, Citizen TV, Nairobi.